Hey everyone, what's up? It's me, Pagey, here once again with another video on Crisis on Infinite Earths, you know, DC TV, the Arrowverse in general. Uh, we've got another video to go over, but they did release the HD version of the trailer that was, that you know, came out in TV, I think like Christmas Eve, for me at least. Uh, so I guess like the 23rd of December for mostly uh, of the, well, the rest of the world, I guess you could say. So let's watch it now because it was in potato quality last time. So let's have a better look at it. We get out of here. We find a way to get everyone that we lost back. All life ends. My entire life prepared me for this fight. You ready? I stay ready. Let's do this. We're in the fight of our lives here. We will not fail this world. Not today. Not ever. Crisis on Infinite Earths, the CW's crossover event, concludes Tuesday, January 14th. So firstly, you might have been able to notice it um, in the first bit when I was, you know, before the trailer played, but I'm sick. I am extremely sick. Um, I'm struggling to make this video, to be completely honest. Um, it's probably going to be like 15 minutes of, you know, in like five minutes of that's going to be coughing, so I have to edit that out. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'm better in the next couple of days, and this is just the only video you have to hear this weird voice of mine. I know it sounds weird because I can tell. Um, but yeah, just if you're wondering, you know, I'm just really sick, so let's hope it goes away soon. But in this video, we'll be going over some new stuff uh, relating to Crisis, as well as just some questions from you guys. Um, you know, it's about half-half, I guess you could say, in regards to the content in the video. Uh, but of course, if you want to leave any more questions that you're curious about, leave them in the comments section down below, and I'll try to include them in videos over the next couple of weeks before Crisis and the Arrowverse comes back for their normal season. So yeah, do that, and as well as just, you know, leaving your general opinions down there in the comments as well. And of course, if you're going to enjoy, uh, enjoy the video, sorry, it would be awesome if you could drop a like on it to show support and excitement for what's coming. Now, just to start off, a lot of people have been asking me this, especially since this, that, you know, that, that trailer came out on TV, which wasn't properly published out by the CW. They might do it in the next couple of days, maybe next week sometime. They still haven't um, officially put it out. But due to that, people have been asking me, when will we get new promos, um, which would include promo images as well. Now... We got that trailer about three weeks and one day, I think, before Crisis would return. So, or maybe it was exactly three weeks. I think it was three weeks and one day before Crisis returns, which, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if we get promo images like a few days into the new year. So, in about like a week's time or so, roughly. Um, but with trailers, they really wouldn't want to show much, you know, and I think it's obvious why as to, you know, due to what happened in the end of part three, like we know certain things from set photos and just even the trailer that showed us there that certain things are going to happen and certain people come back, but they still wouldn't want to show a lot. Like what we got in that trailer that I showed earlier was probably more than enough. Um, I mean, like some are saying that showing Black Lightning, uh, who was it, Heatwave and Frost or Killer Frost there was a spoiler, um, which is honestly a bit dramatic to be completely honest, but they would find it hard to put stuff in a trailer that everyone could agree on, like that, you know, you know, wouldn't call it a spoiler, you know what I mean? So yeah, we should get some new stuff, but it might not just be, you know, might not just be, <clears throat> sorry, might not just be as intense and, uh, or as much as we got before the first three parts of Crisis that were a few weeks back. But the first thing I want to go over, um, go over, sorry. Yeah, the first thing I want to go over in this video is actually this image here of Oliver or Green Arrow and Kara or, you know, Supergirl. Now, this was posted by Stephen Amell on Twitter with the caption, this is peculiar. Now, I wonder if this is a line that's said by one of those two characters or maybe a character in this scene in general. That'll be interesting. But obviously, Kara has bangs with her hair. Um, but is in her Supergirl suit from the first four season and, uh, seasons, and Oliver is in the season five suit, and I guess that's a season six suit as well. Um, wait, yeah, I think that's it, yeah, all five, six, seven? Anyway, no, the five and six, I guess, because season seven, he didn't have the hood. Anyway, so season five and six suit, but with the hair and, I guess, facial hair that he had in season eight, um, you know, this current season. So what the hell's going on here? Now, if you look in the background, you can tell that we're in that, like that Hall of Justice type location that we were in during the Invasion crossover. So I guess there's two options here. Is this time travel to the Invasion crossover? Um, you know, that would explain, I guess, why Kara would be in that suit, but I guess it wouldn't explain the bangs. Um, and I guess with Oliver's situation, it's a bit hard because I guess you could give Oliver, like Stephen Amell a wig, but with the beard situation, it's a bit hard to change. Um... But, you know, that, that obviously that could explain that this is maybe time travel, even though it does have a different filter on it, which makes you think it, it's something else, which I might come back to in a second. But if it's not time travel, then I guess it could just be a vision of sorts. Who's given the vision? Who knows? Is it Oliver as the Spectre that's giving Kara this vision? Or is it someone else 
um, that's giving this vision to both of them. Who knows what's going on here? As I said, we know that this is the Hall of Justice type location, um, but what we know from uh, behind the scenes videos is that in the present day, we're going to be visiting here. So I think the behind the scenes video, which I'm sure a decent amount of you have either seen the video, or you've seen screenshots of it. We saw about, <clears throat> I think it was about seven heroes there, which included like Black Lightning, Flash, Supergirl, and White Canary, and Batwoman, and others. I think Martian Manhunter was there, and someone else. I can't remember who the last person was. Am I having a brain fart? Who was the last person? I can't remember. Anyway, they were in that location, so maybe they are putting together their own league of sorts. Maybe a league that might fight justice. Who knows? But I guess the big question around this is whether this will be in part four or five. Now, part four and five are on the same night. It's basically like a two-hour finale for Crisis. It's almost like a movie, essentially. But they are going to be still different episodes. So I would say this is probably in part four because I think that episode, for at least the first half of it, will be a bit trippy. You know, we know that like Barry's going in the Speed Force and then maybe what's going on here with Oliver and Kara is somewhat similar to that. But it could be in part five, um, <clears throat> but with part five, I am expecting it to be a sort of like a fallout episode of sorts rather than anything uh, like too over the top, if you want to call it. Like it will still be riveting, I'm sure, and action packed and very exciting to watch, but maybe just not something where that scenario with Oliver and Kara would fit in. However, if it is in part five, what would be cool here is if there may be <clears throat> like if, you know, the, the history of the earth or the multiverse has changed and maybe Earth's collided or different things changed around and stuff like that. Maybe they're showing the new history of this new Earth. So they cut back to major moments throughout the history of this new Earth. And then maybe they show different characters like Black Lightning being there. Or maybe Batwoman, maybe Batwoman showed up earlier. You know, I, think, I think mainly the stuff has to do with Black Lightning. Just because he's from a different Earth. But maybe they could have it that like in... Uh, like Christ on Earth X or something like that. They were always together or Christ on Earth X never happened. Invasion happened, but Christ on Earth X never happened in this timeline and history, I guess, which would make sense maybe if they were the only Earth to ever exist. So maybe that's what's going on here. That would explain maybe why Kara is in her old suit and same with Oliver and stuff. Um, that'd be pretty interesting. I don't know if they would do that. That might be a bit too much, but that's a possibility. But yeah, I don't know. Let me know if I'm crazy and thinking that in the comment section down below because you might disagree, you might completely agree, or you might be like thinking some, th you know, something somewhat similar. Um, but now let's move on to some questions from you guys. As I said, if you have any other questions that I don't answer here, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below and I'll try and get to them in videos in the next couple of weeks. But the first question comes from John's YouTube who asked, um, how does Batwoman's timeline work since it's a year behind? Now, honestly, I still think about that. Not all the time. I'm not like going to sleep thinking about, you know, what the hell's going on with that timeline. But it still pops into my head whenever I think of like Batwoman in this universe. Because if you don't know, um, Elseworld, so last year's crossover, something that happened pretty much exactly a year ago, um, happened between episodes four and five for Batwoman. So you had episode five, which was like straight after the events of Elseworlds, and you had six, seven, eight. So there was three episodes that, you know, wouldn't have obviously caught up a year's time, but then when we saw Batwoman in Crisis, it's almost as if we got, you know, we picked up um, with the events straight after the mid-season finale for Batwoman, because Batwoman was looking for Alice and stuff like that, was super angry, which if you watched the mid-season finale for Batwoman, you'd know exactly why she was going around doing this. So the timeline with Batwoman doesn't really make sense. Um, I don't think they could really, <clears throat> like, um, avoid it too much. I've seen people saying, well, Maybe they should have done something different with Elseworlds, which yeah, you can make that you can make that argument and stuff. But um, I don't know how you would have introduced her in any other way. Um, I don't know how they're going to work it with Crisis as well. Does something happen with her timeline? Does it stay the exact same? That's a big question with her. It, obviously, it's got a big question with a lot of the shows. Um, but specifically with Batwoman, it's going to be very interesting to see how they deal with the timeline because it's a bit confusing as it is, and it could get even could get even more confusing um, with the events of Crisis. Uh, Failure Gaming asked, if the Monitor dies, how did the Monitor take future felici uh, Felicity in the portal? Did present day Monitor time travel? Um, I think that's all we can assume because the Monitor's dead unless there's another version of the Monitor that showed up, which could be the case. There are multiple. Um, well, th there's a potential to be multiple. Um, but I think if we're just going to base it off, if that was the only Monitor, then we can just assume that he did travel to the future. Um, that's just what happened. Maybe we can just assume that. Obviously, we know that he can time travel if he wants to. Um, to turn uh, to certain um, you know time zones if he wants to or time periods, so we can just assume that's probably what happened. But I doubt we'll ever get it confirmed or not. Uh, Temi Tope Daniel asks, can Barry use his powers in the Vanishing Point? 
Um, yeah, we should. He should be able to because the Speed Force does exist outside of the multiverse. So the Speed Force wasn't destroyed when the Antimatter destroyed the multiverse. The Speed Force is still intact, and that's maybe a way in which we'll see him do something interesting. And that's also probably a reason that the Reverse Flash is still alive, and that we'll see him in Crisis as well because he was chilling out in the Speed Force, which can, well, remained untouched. Um, so he should be able to use his powers. They might be weakened a bit. I don't know. I'll have to wait and see, but he'll still be able to use his powers for the most part. And the final question comes from Alan the Alien, who asked, will Ryan Choi take over, uh, take over, sorry, as the quote-unquote smart guy in Legends since Brandon Routh is leaving the show? Um, you'd assume that. Um, however, uh, Osdrick Chow, who plays Ryan Choi, wasn't cast in the role of Ryan Choi until they ju- just before they started filming Crisis. He didn't film any Legends before that, so, um, and they were up to episode 8, I think, of Legends, before they started filming Crisis, so, um, he won't be appearing in that, that, uh, Legends before that, and, uh, Legends of Tomorrow Season 5 takes place after Crisis, so, if he were to join Legends, he wouldn't be joining till arguably, like, two, two and a half months until after Crisis ends, um, because that's, Ray Palmer leaves the show, I think, in episode 8 or 7 or something like that, so, um... I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens there, but they definitely brought in Ryan Choi for a reason, so we'll have to wait and see where he does pop up, if he does. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. As I said, hopefully um, my voice wasn't too annoying with the sickness. Hopefully it wasn't. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, it would be awesome if you could drop a like on it to uh, show your support. Let me know in the comments section down below your various opinions on what we went over in the video, and of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. <laughs>